Hey everybody, it's me, Crazy Frankie, and I'd like to welcome you to my week four, four key game picks. Um, kind of bear with me a little bit here. I'm I'm still kind of recovering from uh, from being sick from last week, and I'm still not 100% as of the time of this video. I'm still struggling a little bit, well, with allergies. But anyways, enough of that. Love of my my bullshit right now. <laughs> anyways, a little bit of thoughts from week three, shall we? Well, what can I say? Peyton Manning, 11 touchdown passes in three games. I don't know if this guy's going to be setting records this year, but man, the Broncos, the Broncos just look way too good. But I'm a little bit pissed. How could you let the Raid How could the Broncos let the Raiders score 21 points? How dare you? How dare you let them score 21? That game should have been like 55 to 7 or something. <laughs> Anyways, um Packers losing to the Bengals. Are the Bengals on the rise? I don't know. I mean, the way they stepped up, the Bengals' defense stepped up against Aaron Rodgers and the Packers. I mean, I got to give the Bengals a lot of credit. And how about that? They're one and two right. Now. How do you like that? Packers one and two right now. Bengals two and one, trying to shake off a little bit from the from week one, but they did very well since week two. The Bengals have been pretty much on fire. Ravens getting their group back, surprising win over the Texans last week. But obviously, I think they still lack leadership on that team. The Browns. How about the Browns? Whoever their quarterback is. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just joking around here, man. They shocked everybody by beating the Vikings. The Vikings, the, it's really, I don't know what to say about the Vikings. Even with Adrian Peterson on that team, I mean, really, they're a mess. I mean, you look at last week in week three. I mean, there were a lot of surprises. The Colts going into, the, going into San Francisco and beating the 49ers by a pretty big margin but if you were to say what's going on with the Niners I think to me right now they're missing some key players right now they don't have Vernon Davis they don't have Crabtree and obviously Alden Smith's um, arrest off the field issues definitely I think were a distraction for the team I mean I don't know what to say about this the situation going on in San Francisco but well we'll just wait and see what happens with them let me see other thoughts Bears are 3-0 an impress, obviously a pretty pretty impressive win against the Steelers last week. Steelers pretty much are going down the tubes. I mean, I don't know what to say about that team. I mean, really, they're 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 a mess. I don't know what else to. I don't know what better way to describe that team right now. And speaking of a mess, how about the Giants? They get embarrassed in Carolina. Was it thirty-eight to nothing? I think. Wow. I well, I hate to say it, but for the Giants, their season pretty much is over. I don't know what else to say about the team. And no, you don't need to tell me about the Chargers game. I, 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 I pretty much. I mean, I was pretty pissed off at that game. I know they lost to Tennessee. I don't know what else to say. And what about the Redskins? They're zero and three. They lost to the Lions last week. Is is I'm starting to pretty much say that that off season uh, that's that sophomore slump starting to come around and the off the field, off the field out the off the field issues between RG three have really become a factor for that Redskins team. Well, I don't know I don't know what else to say. Anyway, it, it, last week was was a pretty weird week if you think about it. I mean, a lot of surprises around. The Dolphins are three and zero beating as they beat the Falcons. Falcons are one and two. Saints are three and zero. Uh, that to me is not become. This is not shocking me one bit. I knew that once the Saints that they got Sean Payton back, I knew their offense would get back in order. It's hard to say right now who the best team in the NFL is right now. I don't know. You can make a case for the Seahawks, the Patriots, Dolphins, the Bears. It's tough to say right now after just three weeks of football. But it's the season's still young. And we still have a long ways to go. Anyways, enough about week three. Let's get into week four. Here are my four key game picks. Key game pick number one. Cowboys at the Chargers. I know I'm going to be biased here, but... Look, Dallas last week, they beat a very sorry Rams team. And they blew them out. They blew them out last week. And the Chargers coming off a tough loss from Tennessee. Um... I think this is a this is a game that Dallas I think is going to be in. It, I think they're going to be in for a pretty good game right here. I think to me between these two teams and the way they're playing right now, I mean in all hindsight, I mean last week the Chargers should have won that game against Tennessee, but they didn't. 
Chargers are at home against the against the Cowboys, and the Cowboys are a little bit of a roller coaster right now after these three games. They're two and one right now, and of course that one loss came off of Kansas City. Um, obviously, it's tough to say. This game's a toss up right here. This game really is a toss up. But I'm going to go out on a limb here. I know I'm going to be biased here, but I'm going to say the Chargers here. I think the Chargers win here. Cowboys. The Cowboys are an anomaly right now. It's tough to say when one week they're doing good, one week they're doing bad. It's really tough to say right now. I mean, last week they beat a they beat a sorry Rams team. Come on. I mean, this is going to be a tough game for them. I think to me the Chargers. I think they're going to turn it around here. They're, they'll get a they'll get a victory over the over the Dallas Cowboys. I'm going to go out on a limb here and I'll say the Chargers beat the Cowboys here. I think for the Chargers, the key is the running game, and if Philip Rivers continues to make pass continues to make good passes and not turn the ball over, I think to me the Cowboys are in for a tough game. Second key game, Seahawks at the Texans. Seahawks are 3-0, Texans are, Texans are, I think, uh, yeah, they're 2-1 and one right now. Texans coming off a tough loss against the Ravens. Uh, well, you should say they got whooped, I should say. Seattle, they're 3-0. But on the other hand, too, I mean, on, I mean, they only had one road game, and their road game really wasn't impressive. Remember, Seattle's on the road. I'm going to need to see what happens here when they go to Houston here. I know Seattle's tough at home, but can they improve on the road? That's a good question right now because, really, they barely won in week one against Carolina. And the Texans, uh, it's tough to say with this Texans team right now, but I, li I, I actually like the Texans here at home. I, I do I still think I got a lot of questions between Seattle and them on the road. Um, let's see if Seattle can can play well on the road. They I think they can, but I I just like Houston in this game. I think Houston will get it together here. They'll rebound from the loss last week. I'm gonna go with the Texans here. I'll say the Texans over the Seahawks. Key game number three. The Patriots at the Falcons. Patriots are three and L. Falcons are one and two at the moment. Patriots to me, I mean, there's a lot. I think to me, there's a lot of questions going on with that team. I mean, I think a lot of key players are missing from that team. I mean, their three games, I don't think they were impressive. Even though they beat a sorry Tampa Bay team last week, they won pretty handily. But really, right now for the Falcons, they're desperate for a win right now. They're trying to keep pace right now with the New Orleans Saints in the NFC South division. And I like the Falcons at home. I think to me, they're going to rebound here. I think the Patriots will get their first loss here. Falcons right now, I, I, I just don't think they're going to fall off the cellar right now. I think this team still has some talent, and I expect them to be competing for a wild card spot the rest of the way. I don't think they're going to catch the Saints for the division. It would take a colossal collapse from them to even Sunday. But that's further in the future right now. I don't know what that what to expect from them. Anyways, going back to this game here. Obviously, a lot of key players are missing for Tom Brady. Even even Let's just see how well he does against Atlanta. I think Atlanta's defense right now, I mean, it was kind of shocking they lose to Miami. I, did, I mean, I did pick the Dolphins as an upset. But I think the Falcons rebound here. I like the Falcons at home here. I'm not going to go against them at home. I'm going to say the Falcons, they beat, um, they beat the Patriots here. I think the Patriots will get their first loss in this game. And key game number four, the Battle of the Unbeatens. The Miami Dolphins at the New Orleans Saints. Talking about the New Orleans Saints here. Drew Brees right now. I mean, this guy's on fire. This guy's on fire. I mean, he's setting... I think I think right now, I mean, I, it's hard, I forgot how many touchdowns he has at the moment right now, but Saints offense are in sync. I mean, it's hard for me to go against them in this game against the Dolphins, but the Dolphins right now, I got to give... I got to give the Dolphins a lot of credit right now. I didn't expect them to be 3-0 at this point. I would have thought maybe 2-1 and or 1-2, and but I'm going to go out on a limb here. I just think the Saints are too much here. I mean, it is a key game because somebody's going to get their first loss here, but I don't. I, I just don't think the Saints is, are going to, is going to lose this game. I think, to me, the Saints are too much. They got too much offense. Defense-wise, as long as the defense stays off the field, I mean, Miami's going to have their hands full. I mean, Miami's defense is going to have their hands full against a very good Saints offense here. I'm going to go with New Orleans. I'm going to go with the New Orleans Saints over the Miami Dolphins. Anyways, folks, that's it. That's that's it for this video. Um, check out my blog, crazyfrankie56.blogspot.com for all of my week four picks. And until then, I will see you all next week. Take care and enjoy your football weekend.